Describe your hometown for me. Well, I live in a very vibrant village named Pasina. This village is near a small city but famous uh, city, Raikot. Uh, my village uh, is a, a quite a countryside. It, uh, it has almost every facility. Uh, for example, uh, schools, cleanings, marriage halls, streams, etc. I like most about my village is never ending development. It is still developing and people here are very friendly. And second thing I like most about my village is its players. Um, maybe the players of my village are uh, participated in a national, on a national level also. Uh, the thing I don't like much about my hometown is it's, uh, there is no library. Um, as I am a keen book reader, so I want one library. Let's talk about cold weather. Have you ever been in very cold weather? Well, yes. Uh, during winters, it is obvious that we all we all have been in cold weather. Um, and it is quite uh, uh, my well. Uh, winters are my favorite kind of weather because it's uh, so cozy, and we don't. Uh, and it is it is good weather for rest or for uh, or just. Work only, um, but as compared to other season like summer, we are not on. Uh, it, we can't completely focus on our work because of uh, this hot weather and in summer. So yeah, winter is a good. Thing. Cold seasons are much better. So, like you said, uh, the cold weather you have been there, but when? Exactly when? During November, December month. How often is the weather cold where you come from? Well, I live in northwest part of India, in the state Punjab, and here, or maybe not whole, not half of the year, we can say, uh, almost four months are cold. Um, is cold here. And the cold is not much as compared to summer season. So it is, it's, the coldness is variable. Are some parts of your country colder than others? Uh, well, definitely. Well, in, uh, for example, northern, upper north region of India, uh, of India, like Himalayas, are coldest places. Like, uh, or we can say Jammu and Kashmir are very colder and uh, colder places. Um, the cold winter season are more likely to help more than six months as compared to summer season. Um, so yeah, these, these two or three states are uh, they are situated on the top of the country are cold. Why? Are coldest. Why? Uh, because they are uh, situated uh, at the top of the country and because of mountain we can say that in Himalayas you can simply see the snowy uh, uh, that snow mountains all over and in Jammu and Kashmir the case is same because of mountains because of snow, mount snow mountains are there. Are some parts of your colder country colder than others? I think you already answered that. So I'll go to the next question. Would you prefer to live in a hot place or a cold place? Well, to be honest, I prefer to live more in a cold place, but my, uh, my personal uh, favorite place is which is not very cold or which is not very uh, hot. For example, like spring season, which I in March or April. But as for your as for your question, I, I definitely prefer cold place because in, during summer it is very really hot here and we can't even focus on our studies or work because of that sweating. And uh, Punjab is now facing the electricity crisis also, so I am really prepped. So my mindset is changed uh, toward colder places now. Okay, great. So I'm going to give you a topic card, and I'll give you one minute to prepare for it. Then you can speak for up to two minutes on it. So make sure yes, you have sir. your pencil and the paper with you. You have it? Yes. Okay. So your uh, topic today is this. Describe a competition 
example, TV, college work, or sports competition that you took part in, you should say what kind of competition it was and how you found out about it, what you had to do, what the prizes were, and explain why you chose to take part in this competition. Okay? So, are you ready? I can't, yes. I cannot see you. So, can you make sure you are visible? Okay, I'm going to show you the cue card also on the screen at the same time. Okay, you have it on the screen. You now have one minute exactly, okay? Okay, start now. Well, the competition held like every year in my school, school time. Um, during my school time was a debating competition. It was such a you know interesting competition, uh, and only students of higher classes, like uh, students of eleventh or twelfth grade, can part can take part in it. So when so when I was um, in tenth or in junior classes, we used to sit down in on the ground and uh, sing our seniors to take part in this competition. And the competition was debated. So from the name, it is clear that it is kind of debate. Uh, it's kind of debate um, going to uh, help uh, going to help there in the competition, and student is going to debate with each other on a particular topic. Like topics can be related to poli politics matter, environment matter. Or, uh, or uh, social issues. So I take participate in this competition in in 2019 when I was in 11th grade. As uh, it was uh, to be honest, it was my first time when I'm taking any this kind of competition in my uh, take part space, take part in this kind of competition. Um, I felt uh, well. To be honest, first of all, I felt very excited. And yeah, uh, I, I was chosen among ten uh, children. Uh, I was chosen among ten uh, children too. And the most interesting thing was that the, when the students that will compete with me were all were all seniors, and they all were twelfth grade, and, and I was only uh, child. And I was I was only student with, uh, from eleventh grade. So it was an opportunity to learn from my seniors. Uh, from and. When the competition was start, my uh, turn was at the last, and I felt exhausted because we have just sit on one place and okay, listen. Time is up. Time is up. You can finish your sentence. All right, that's good. Uh, so now I need to. Yeah, there you are. So let's talk about competitions in school. Okay. Make sure you focus on the camera and uh, speak yes. into the camera. Sometimes your voice goes down. Maybe you are looking another place, so the microphone is not catching correctly. Okay, competitions in school. Why do you think some school teachers use competitions as class activities? Well, in my, to be, uh, as my personal experience, uh, in my school time, there were uh, competition almost uh, 12 months in the 
a year and they were kind of different competitions like sometimes it was debate competition or sometimes it was the so writing competition or speaking competition etc and it's the main uh, uh, the main thinking behind uh, this competition uh, was that to, to to rejuvenate the children because during that whole day we was continuously studying and there was some, only one break in between uh, the, the studying period so this competition really uh, refresh our mind and make us interested and it also gave us kind of free time uh, when we prepare this competition just give us free time and give us rest from studies do you think it is a good thing to give prizes to children who do well at school well uh, yeah it is a good thing to give prizes to the children who are doing or who really do well but uh, i also think so uh, we should also they should also give provide to just to at least take part in in this competition uh, because it's really boost their morale and they will try more hard time would you say that schools for young children have become more or less competitive since you were that age Well, to be honest, they are become, they are become more competitive because I remember when I was in nursery, there was no competitions, and we were all friends. Kind, we were just all friends, and we never thought that who is intelligent or who is weak. As we grown up, our children started to our teachers started to taught us to be more competitive because that the for example, a particular student is very intelligent, and you should. in more for the or you should compete with your monitors if you want to do something good in your life or make a thing if you want to achieve your goals in future you should be competitive in uh, in, uh, in class okay, let's talk about sporting competitions what are the advantages and disadvantages of intensive training for young sports people um advantages can we say they are uh, the intensive training it develops their skills and they just make them more better in the kind of sport in which they are interested but uh, it should be not it should be intensive but it should not should be not harsh as i have seen many cases in my school that um, our judge uh, our pt teacher used to uh, used to uh, exercise you know, In, in in very hot climate and due to uh, due to man due to this many players uh, feel felt dizziness in the ground and they even fell off uh, even fell down in the ground during exercise so this sex these are hard so we should they should also take care of children because they are still young some people think that competition leads to a better performance from sports stars others think it just makes players feel insecure what is your opinion well it is, in my opinion yeah insecurity is there when when the competition is uh, just uh, they just put the burden of competition from the first day, uh, day or from the first month when or we can see when they are uh, starting the exercise exercising or practicing um look from starting they should be just see them as a game as a normal game that they are doing just for fun and they should know the skills and try to teach them like a friend or be or in a fun like uh, in a fun way so uh, and the rather during a sport uh, during a sport event or during a proper competition of any particular Does the competition spirit of a sportman uh, of in a sportman come or, uh, automatically? So they should not uh, uh, try to give burden on children that you should be more competitive if you want to be sportsman. Because sportsmanship is a kind of thing we can't put in someone. It is it come from inner, from within. So yeah, I think that they should not uh, be harsh or be more competitive. Do you think that it is possible to become too competitive in sport? In what ways? Well, it is possible because um, uh, we I have uh, not 
have sometime I see in Olympic, and we all saw in Olympic that the people who are too competitive, they are only take part to part take part in Olympic kind of game or games in which are held in national level. Um, so too competition, too, to be too competitive is a good thing. Uh, when you are on a field of uh, when you are on a field and uh, or, we, or we can say when you are in a particular sports competition. But otherwise, when a, once a competition is done and everything is over, you should start like uh, you should be you know uh, you should chill and take your competition, uh, take the people of your competitive team as your friends because now everything is over. So why should we behave like too competitive? That's it. The test is done. All right. So we're done with that, and. Uh,